Dang, I'm getting choked up and I haven't even started talking. Um, what a cool display this is, right? These, they kind of look like oversized nets behind me. Um, luckily, they, they aren't that big in, in hockey. Um, some days they felt that big, though. Um, but, uh, you know, I never would have thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be in the same room as Ryan Miller and Evgeny Nabokov, but um, dreams really do come true. So, um, you know, I just want to say this is a tremendous honor. Um, you know, I didn't expect this, um, especially not this soon, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, I have so many people to be grateful for um, and even more uh reasons to be thankful. Um, I want to start by thanking my family, and I will do it, be doing a lot of name dropping, so bear with me, please. Um, and thank you to my, my grandma, Glow, um, who has always been my number one supporter. Um, you know, she's, uh, she's never lost faith in me, um, and, you know, she's always um, online making sure that everyone knows, uh, staying up to date on what I'm doing, so I do appreciate that. Um, thank you, uh, Carrie, for being here, my cousin. Um, she's always sporting that smile that lights up in your room. Um, and even though you teach in a district that um, I grew up despising, I think I can forgive you for that. Um, to my brothers, uh, while the tough love you guys showed me um, didn't seem like anything more than torture back then, um, I'd say it finally paid off. Um, you know, case in point, like uh, when we used to strap pillows and newspapers to each other and fire hockey pucks at whoever drew the, the short straw that day. Um, it was Donnie's idea. <laughs> um, and then another example, um, going upstairs, you know, we were out of sight, out of mind for mom and dad, strapping on um, the replica football helmets and lining up mattresses next to each other, uh, blaring Chumbawamba's tub thumping um, and smashing through each other and um, throwing each other into walls. Um, you know, it's just what boys do. But um, if you don't know the song that I just named, look it up and you'll know exactly why we picked it. Um, Donnie, thank you for uh, giving me the courage to face my fears and showing me that there's no task that's too big in life. Uh, I wish Jen could have made it and could have been here. Uh, James, I can't thank you enough uh, for being the role model I needed in hockey and in life. Um, you were my first true coach. Uh, I, wish, I also wish Toya could be here with us. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, you haven't just been a brother to me, but you've been a mentor and a friend. Um, you don't realize the influence um, that you've had on me, but maybe one day I can repay you. Uh, I'm so glad that Jill could join us, and uh, thank you for making the trip from Seattle. I appreciate it, guys. Um, to my parents, um, who never left my side in the hospital, um, not even a single day, um, you guys taught me that every day there will be a fight, and every day there will be a struggle, but that giving up is never an option. Um, and by the way, Mom, I surely thought that you were going to leave Dad at home for this one. Um, to my DASA family, um, you saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Um, Kelly Bellman, your positive attitude has impacted so many kids and families um, that your legacy will live on for eternity, um, and I know that for a fact. Um, Mike Dowling, you not only introduced me to the sport, but you guided me through the highs and lows of being a goaltender, and I can't thank you enough. Um, he was just telling the story to my family about how a 14-year-old uh, kid skates into an inline rink. Um, and that day, you know, he didn't know that his life was going to be changed forever, um, finding the sport that, um, you know, would let him live out his dreams and just do it in a different way. So thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, Ken, your ability to transform a team and the fact that you never saw us as the underdog uh, was what empowered me to give 110%, no matter the circumstances. Uh, Jason, Kat, and Billy, um, and unfortunately Josh Pauls can't be with us uh, today, um, but there's no one that I'm prouder to consider teammates and friends, 
and what I would give for one more road trip jam-packed with Billy's song selections. Um, to my USA Hockey family, um, you know, I, I had a lot of surprises today. Um, so I would like to thank Rico, uh, Andy, thank you for the kind words, Dr. Sandberg, uh, Blayback. Um, thank you guys for showing up. I really do appreciate it. Um, and then, obviously, Taylor Lipset, um, the magic you've created within the community on and off the ice will never be matched. Um, you're a pure talent and asset to the sport. Thank you for always lending an ear, and it was a pleasure to share the ice with you for so many years. To Dan Brennan, um, I can't express my gratitude enough uh, for making the trip, as I know the boys are in Canada for a tournament right now. Let's give them one more round of applause for winning in overtime. We, we knew that they would get it done, though. Um, the class that you've shown me over the years, Dan, cannot be duplicated. You not only believed in what we could do as a team, but you gave me the opportunity to be myself and to contribute in ways I never thought possible. Um, you somehow managed to turn a twerp 16-year-old into the first Hall of Famer in the sport of sled hockey. And trust me, there are many more to come uh, thanks to you. Um, and uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank my fiance, Alyssa. Um, you see me at my best, and you see me at my worst. You are always a beacon of hope in this world that's carried me through so much anguish and despair. Um, you've always understood that the dreams that I've had take a village to become a reality. And there's no one I'd rather share this honor with than you. So um, looking back on my career, I consider myself lucky to even had a faint percentage of the opportunities that I've been afforded. Um, I've met some inspiring people along the way, so many teammates that deserve just as much, um, and if not more, credit than I do. And the teams that created bonds that will never be broken, being a part of these teams is the reason that I'm standing here talking to you today. Um, and, you know, being around those people who always wanted to push themselves is what made me better as well. And it, it's taught me that the attitude to, to never take each day for granted. And as Coach Hoff um, has eloquently said, um, you are guaranteed today, but um, you have to earn tomorrow. And it was extremely difficult for me to come to the, the decision to retire. I wanted to continue, but I had to put my mental health first. I realized the difference between giving it all and all I had and giving it what I didn't have anymore. I remember talking to my mom about it and she put it perfectly. Um, the decision was bittersweet and uh, that's the best part about it. I'm fortunate to be surrounded by friends and family who truly understand and support me no matter what. And while I can't put into words what this honor means to me, I hope it inspires the next generation to achieve more, and I hope it opens the doors for that little boy or girl who never saw themselves as disabled, never saw themselves as having a disability, um, and saw the abilities, or as Kelly would put it, different abilities. Um, and I think the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame Class of 22 really embodies this idea of diversity. Um, it can be attributed to the belief in the sport that you can push yourself, you can push the boundaries, you can challenge the norm, and that there's no such thing as I can't. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me over the course of my career, they say, Steve, so what's your secret to success? And of course I don't tell them because it's a secret, um, but I will tell you now what I did as a goaltender that I have never told anybody. So I once heard that Dominic Hasek hated having pucks in his net in practice. Um, so I decided at a young age that I was going to adopt that philosophy. So anytime a puck would go in in practice, I'd fish it out and I'd fire it down the ice. It became a habit, a ritual, so to speak. And I got so good at it that I'd hit the, uh, the opposing net almost every time. So with that information, let me ask you this. As a coach, would you pick the guy that has a dozen pucks in his net, or would you go with the guy that has zero? <laughs> um, I want to congratulate all of the inductees um, this year. You all deserve it so much. Um, the Stralo family, um, congratulations. Um, 
thank you so much for the prestigious honor. Um, you know, I've truly cherished the memories that I've been able to make, and I'm going to cherish the ones that um, we create tonight as well. So thank you.